O Sadaye, O merciful girl, when will you shyly take me far away from your girlfriends to a cave of Govardhan Hill to teach me beautiful songs in different tunes there? Can you hear me properly? Yeah, very well. Notes. Sri Raghunath's heart is absorbed in the forms, qualities, and pastimes of his beloved deity. In the mood of a maid servant, he relishes Sri Sri Radha Madhava's sweetness. How much Swamini loves her intimate maidservant is known through the prayer in this verse. Without me even wanting it, Swamini is accepting me as one of her own. From this, I understand that she loves me. Without me even wanting it, Swamini is so merciful to take me along to a cave of Govardhan Hill to teach me divine songs with different tunes and meters. Lachayali Burata Barato Giripate Kavaram Nitva. Shyly, she takes me far away from her girlfriends. To a little sober than him. To teach me singing. Why is she take far away from the girlfriend? Why not she is teaching in the front of girlfriend? Because it is very intimate, Gurudev. So nice. Bring to her and fix her. Come in, what are you doing? Listen. Wow. So why should Radhika be shy? Why Radhika should be shy? Yes, Sama Prana Sakis are not strangers to her. She She's shy because the friends cannot know the intimate, the most intimate songs because they will mock her and make fun of her. In front of her sakis, she cannot teach all kinds of songs. These songs are not ordinary songs. Divyaganam. They are divine songs. Swamini is shy because she knows that her girlfriends understand that she will teach Tulasi intimate songs 
about her love affairs with Jean. <laughs> These songs are not meant for the Saki's ears because they will make them mock Swamini. Yes. These confidential and wonderful songs cannot be heard by anyone else but Swamini's most intimate maid servants. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you answer very beautifully. I am fortunate that just this time in Vrindavan, I was reading only this verse to you and you explained to me many times. So now I can repeat what you said. <laughs> <laughs> These songs are meant to be sung by Tulasi while Swamini is alone with Sham. <clears throat> and Sham has fainted out of amorous ecstasy. <clears throat> With their extraordinary beauty and sweetness, the Vrachasundaris are able to astonish Sri Krishna. Hence, their love is called Samartha Raku. <laughs> <laughs> the love of a pure devotee has such extraordinary power and glory that it astonishes Sri Krishna. Bhaktera Brema Chestateki Krishnera Chamatkara. The love of the Vraj Sundaris is of the highest class. Hence, the Samartharati is most astonishing. Wow. Can I ask something? Yeah. What is the meaning of Samartharati Gurudev? Only she is capable to give that. She is Samad, <coughs> and that Rati, the highest love she can feel. And she teaches to her Manjari that how to be the highest love. What is the highest love? That is a very confidential subject. She don't want to share this, even in the between the friends. The sweetness of the love of Shimati Radharani, who is endowed with Madanakya Mahabhav, is astonishing Krishna so much that it makes him faint. <laughs> She is astonished. Now, who is astonished? First, and she is astonished to that Krishna. Who is astonished with her, her behavior to all creation? This Krishna, and she is astonished. Uh, Krishna, Radhika. 
Radhe Krishna surprised. What did he do? Sometimes she become angry, and sometimes she is giving so much love. You know why she is angry? Because Krishna is coming from all place to getting love. So she said that something new guest has to be for Krishna. So she is so active. <laughs> she is so capable. She knows what Krishna likes. That is devotion. <laughs> She knows with that time what he will be happy to give to us. How to make happy? More summer, more capable. She is to give everything. What we not want to say. Even Swami, yeah, say okay. Yesterday. So yesterday we are talking uh, uh, Madana Gopal Baba. <laughs> we are meeting with Mahani Swami and he disclosed many things to us. So so Mahababa, sometimes say uh, it is. Sometimes it is said, Dwaraka's queen may have to some some to some extent, but some people some people say no, only only bring them, only gopi. And yesterday, one story. Krishna was in Dwaraka. He was he was threatening with you know such a form or sometimes looking. And Krishna's meditation is always Vrindavan. Sometimes he was sleeping on the bed. Because meditation is Brindavan. So in the bed on the bed, he showed Tribangara at home. And <laughs> Krishna saying, Herade, Herade, Herade. Why don't you come? Please come, please come. And then such a boma is completely shocked. <laughs> Krishna, what, what, what Krishna is saying? Who is Radha? Because in the world, they don't understand the Brinda Bandira. And they some of who hear from Braja Bhakta. <laughs> So, Radharani, only Radharani can steal the heart of Mohan. But uh, even Dwaraka's queen, even Satyabhoma and Rukmini, uh, they are top two. Even their, their queen cannot steal Krishna's heart. Why is that? Because 
ラダラにはず、ベリスペシャルクオリティ。ビコズ、ラディカミンズ、サマーフウォーシップ、モスト。ミンズ、サマーフウォーシップ、クリシナ、モスト。イナゾバズ、ラディカ、ラブズクリシナモースト。プレンバクティ、ラティカジ、オルセ。オクルテーブ、アイラブ。そう、ラダラに、キャノットシー、エニシン、エロス。ラダラに、キャンス。See, only that, I rather than see only Krishna, Moha. He has too much love. Then completely mad the baby. <coughs> Madan Kia. It's completely become crazy. Because he has too much love. Just hearing the name of Madhusudan. His, his heart,、uh, her heart was, was good to this word, oh Madhusudan. Just somebody said, Madhusudan is gone. Radhika is with Krishna. Still, Immediately, Radhika here, Radhika, Madhusudan is gone.、Mm-hmm. Then he, she s t a n d up and, where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? <laughs> Our six Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Especially Rupa Sanatana, Laguna. All Goswamis follow Rupa. So, therefore, it is a Rupa Anga, Rupa Anga. What is their mood? They are not saying, Oh, I'm seeing, I've seen Krishna. Oh, Krishna is here, Radha is here. No. Where is Krishna? Where is Radhika? Where can I find out you? This kind of strong greed, strong, strong hankering. Because of too much love. Because they are following Radhika's Madanakya Mahaprabhu. <laughs> We don't understand honestly. I don't understand honestly. But we could feel <coughs> something greatest love which Radharani has. <laughs> And this,、uh, this Radharani w a n t to teach Trashi Manjari very secret song. Only, only be very intimate. Person can understand. <laughs> so, if we are some like lovers, so sometimes lovers d o e s not want to say anything to the friend. Because if we say something, then something will be broken. Because if secret thing, secret thing disclosed, 
the very important thing will be lost. The faith and hope and love will block. So this is this is a very intimate song. Radhika want to teach Trashi Manjai. What is the meaning of song? What song? Song. <laughs> so, Mohan Rain. When Mohan Rain. How? How to revive Mohan? Mm -hmm. That secret song is <laughs> in it. Because if Krishna hear the word of Ra, his mind intention becomes that person. If someone say again, da, <laughs> then Krishna is run after. Yesterday we met Mahanidhi Swami, now Baba. So he's saying, let us see at first Radha's name because we want to hear, we want to Krishna to hear this, 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 this kata. So he invited Krishna singing the Radha's. Yeah. So this song is very intimate. So even even Anantas Baba hesitated to disclose. I can say good day. Good if I think um, maybe that would be a poem describing Shimate Radhika's qualities and her desires, how to please him. <laughs> you agree? Yeah, I agree. Pleasing <laughs> is in the confidential mode, money pleasing, but where please where Radhika is alone with Krishna, that time different type of pleasing, <laughs> that is Kama Gayatri. Only Radha Krishna is there, and nobody is there, and her Manjiri Stasis are there. That time, what is happening, in which circumstances she wants to, to, to bring him out from the fainting situation is a very different confidential past You imagine beloved is one to more give love and he is so tired that he don't want to wake up and she don't know what to do with this circumstances. That is confidential circumstances. <laughs> and she cannot do, and she is calling to someone 
who is so dear and personal that in this circumstances only you can help. <laughs> there, there is another <coughs> hidden reason why Radharani takes with, yes, yes, I think it's this. Yeah. Um you see. There is another hidden reason. No, you are not coming. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Let me sit here. <laughs> So, another hidden reason why Radharani is taking Tulsi to a secluded place to teach her the songs. One reason which we just heard very beautifully is that, that she teaches her very intimate songs which Tulsi then requires to help her in the circumstances when Mohan is fainting. But Gordasji Maharaji uh, from Vrindavan also explains another hidden reason is that Radharani is taking Tulsi to a secluded grove under the pretext to teach her something, but actually she's signaling Mohan that she's ready for him. So Mohan gets news that Radha is alone with Tulsi in Kunja, so he appears immediately. And you know he catches the fragrance of Radharani, and he finds her, and he's listening. He's listening how Radharani is teaching to Tulsi that song, and they spot him. And then Radharani, of course, blushes, and with her sidelong glances, she's telling him, "What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here." And then Mohan says to her. But I also want to learn this song. Why are you not teaching me? Then Radharani says, you will never learn this. You have no chance. You know? <laughs> then he says, okay, but I want to see what you're teaching your rage servant. So he said, come to see, sing the song. What is your Swamini teaching you? So she, of course, is very shy and goes down her head. But then Radharani gives her a hint to sing, and she starts singing a beautiful song. And what does this song do? It creates amorous feelings in the divine couple. And so they, Mohan takes Radha's hand, and they walk into the kunja and engage in a loving place, whilst Tulsi has fulfilled her mission with this seva. So it means also this... I found it very beautiful that there are so many deep, deep meanings in the past times, which we can like, you know, um, yeah, experience and relish. And as Manjuri's always, you know, uh, being that service, like always be ready to serve them. And so this, I, I just found it very sweet that there is, Radharani has also this intention when she brings Tulsi, then she can meet with her This Rava is very like snake, like snake, not straight. So if we call the Mohan more easy, but it's not the taste is not the <laughs> but Radhika didn't I did not invite you. Why you why you come? Yes. This is you know is loving feelings more increases. <laughs> so therefore sometimes duty messenger is very very they, they, they does a very nice job. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, then, uh, also, each tone of this song brings in Krishna's 
heart and mind when he's fainted. The form of Radhika. And each tone is meant for each of his senses. Because behind all this tone and words, also this is description, subtle descriptions of different radical qualities which touch the Krishna's sense of smell, sense of hearing, sense of touching, all his senses. And it's like flowers, each tone penetrates deeply in his heart. And then when he is chanted, he come out from this swoon and this pain. Yeah, very much. So this is the reason why Radhika's love is no special love. Some are from all these Rajas and Bodhis. Yeah. So Samarita means the capable, right? Yeah. right? Capable. So Radhika could, she can attract anyway. Like Gora, Goranga Sundara Prabhu say, not only side glance, Radhika's like a movement, Radhika's fragrance, or Radhika's lotus feet from coming out from lotus feet, some, some, some lightning, anything can attract Krishna. So therefore, Radhika, this say Samarta means capable because any any quality of Radhika could attract or could even steal Mohana. <coughs> that is therefore this mentioned Samarta Radhika. Wow. Mahabhava, astonishing Krishna. It makes him faint, and the same Madanakya Mahababa makes him true, <laughs> true, true the astonishment. True. They are true, true the astonishment. Right. And also, in, in, in that need Manjari, without the help of Manjari, it is <coughs> impossible. So Mahaprabhu gives a, a special gift. <laughs> Can you explain something? Good if I was speaking about this today. I was giving class in Iskon Temple. <laughs> This is the special gift of Mahaprabhu that he gave this mood when Krishna becomes a servant of Shrimati Radhika. Not only that, he is taking the mood of the mandris of the small dasis and he wants to become also a servant of this love that she is and that she has for him by tasting it. And this is very rarely given. This is this verse, Adapita Charim Charat. It's very rarely given, and we are so lucky that we can be now here at that time to receive it. This Baba Ulasarati, this Unata Uchvalarasa, this unexpected high kind of uh, love that can only come from Srimati Radhika, and because she is. In Chaitanya Mahaprabhu guiding Krishna to feel it, also she is distributing it through her dasis like Rupa Banjari and Raghunath, Tulsi Manjari. And this is the special gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he is giving us, they are giving us actually, this chance to enter into this loving uh, mood of, of 
serving them in their lila in their uh, meetings even my god <laughs> amazing 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 what you are doing my dear what the action of other devotees <laughs> amazing very very nice good if it's your mercy they are very uh, eager to to hear this now honestly i was not speaking openly very openly like just now but they all want to be radha's dasis i feel it they're very ready to hear this and to be you're going into raga mark now gurudev i i i'm surprised you are so big and gora sundar is uh, today is writing and teaching me as time how is on the way wow <laughs> he is only talking 10 minutes giving classes <laughs> if you say i can put in radha dasya on the about a time of wow <laughs> he say you cannot understand without a time of <laughs> my god and i i am thinking the moment when we, our bhava is so jumping ping pong we not understand we do mistakes that time when it the bhava is a sky nothing is a is one point wow god is on the wow i am so proud of you so happy that you my teacher god no <laughs> you are helping me do what i you say me as time how and one thing nasty dominance <laughs> <laughs> only those in stai bath will get teached by my, my by our swamini because those in the stai bath they understand her feelings completely and those can get the uh, uh the teachings from her others cannot get teached there is not this connection and this connection is only coming by this stai bath we are manjaris we are one with our swamini we know what she is feeling so she can teach us everything she is fully trusting us <coughs> that's the glory of stai bath yeah 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 i'm proud i get i like to come to you gurudev i like to come you have to travel and share this feelings <laughs> <laughs> i'm so happy to meet chainanda and all other devotees then in the may we will meet so we cannot wait we are so eager i will i want to say eager sure we have to increase this our life is very limited <coughs> we have to go in really easy way yeah that way too much unnatural way we practice why not to do the natural way simple way outside changing is no change if my change is not happen inside right useless thank you yeah Oh, Hans, oh, Jacques. <laughs> Even Swamini is then baffled and unable to find the means to reawaken Shyam. Wow. <laughs> Only her maid servants that are well trained in the art of singing 
of divine songs are able to break the swoon. Uh, no one else. So it's key, this is what distinguishes. The sun is here, yeah, right? That's true. Yes. Say, I have a feeling very right. Only mid seventies ready to do this. Seven. Read again this paragraph. <laughs> The sweetness of the love of Srimati Radharani, who is endowed with Madanakya Mahabhav, is astonishing Krishna so much that it makes him faint. And even Swamini is then baffled and unable to find a means to reawaken him. <coughs> Only her maidservants that are well trained in the art of singing divine songs are able to break this swoon. No one else. You imagine that time Swami cannot sing song right. <laughs> she needs some hard help. <laughs> She want only that Krishna has to wake up. And how to do, she don't know. He, he doesn't want that he sleep now. <laughs> Why he sleeping? <laughs> what happened to him? And she tried to do it, but nothing moving. He is so... So in ecstasy. <laughs> she cannot sing about herself. Herself, wow. I have to sing, right? Yeah. This is what distinguishes the kinkaris from the sakis. Yeah, that's the important point. That's a Gaurav Sundara, a sky bhav, in your manjari bhav, a sky bhav is required. He even not want to listen any bhav other. <coughs> He cannot digest German man. <laughs> he cannot accept it. That is his his top. Even Suniti is in problem. <laughs> Living in the same land, <laughs> she is in problem. <laughs> right, Suniti? <laughs> He is smiling, why? <laughs> it's a very nice problem, Gurudev. <laughs> Easy for you that without doing other many efforts, you can fix it. This is Jeevan Sati. <laughs> this is the real partnership. What? For one to work to us. This is the very confidential service rendered by the maid servants. One day Radhika and Shyam are playing together in a kunj when Shyam faints out of ecstasy. No matter what Swamini tries, she cannot bring Krishna back to his senses. 
the boat-like mind of chanting Mohan has sunk in the potless ocean of Sri Radhika's beauty and sweetness. Swamini is desperate. She cannot find anyone who can pull Shyam out of his deep ocean like swoon. <laughs> then Tulasi, who sits outside with her back against the wall of the Kunja, begins to sing a very beautiful song. When Shyam hears this song about Swamini's sweetness, he slowly comes back to his senses and becomes fit again to continue the love play. These songs cannot be taught in the presence of the Sakis. Therefore, they are taught within the caves of Govardhan Hill. <laughs> the subject of these songs are the various pastimes of Rasaraj Shri Krishna and Madanakya Mahabhavati Shri Radha. Shri Radhika herself is the subject of the songs, so, sh so she cannot sing it herself to bring Krishna back to life. Therefore, a third person is necessary and the maidservant of Shirada is the most fitting person to do it. Of all maidservants, Tulasi is again most intimate with Shirarika. So Swamini calls, so Swamini calls her into a cave of Govardhan Hill to teach her these intimate songs in different tunes. This is the limit of human perfection. The great gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Without bath, without feeling, one cannot taste rasa, the spiritual flavor. And without rasa, there can be no development of. Slowly, slowly. slowly. <coughs> I can repeat. This is the limit of human perfection. The great gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Without bath, without feeling, one cannot taste rasa, the spiritual flavor. And without rasa, there can be no development of bath. And without bath and rasa, there cannot be ananda. Wow. Who wants to explain it? This is the, this is the ultimate goal of the soul. We find Ananda only there, in the Stai Bhav as a Manjari of Srimati Radhika. This is the gift of Gauranga. He is uh, 
He is the most merciful, I cannot say God. <laughs> yes, that's that's the right name. Because he is, he is bringing Prem. And we get it only in the feelings. And feelings is meaning bath, bath. This is, and the stai bath, again, we are there. Stai bath is the way to get this prem, what he is giving so mercifully to all of us. Beautiful what, what you read, Chakshu. This is, uh, this is so, so brings so much hope to us, all of us, that we are on the right path. The ultimate goal, nothing up to this. It's the highest. Thank you. So I repeat. I, what do you want to say? Say. <clears throat> you want to say something? <coughs> That's it. No, I just, I want to repeat the sentence now. Wow. <laughs> without bath, without feeling, one cannot taste rasa, the spirit flavor. And rasa means you know Krishna also. <laughs> so first we become Krishna devotee, why? Because little feeling we got and then we have become Krishna devotee. Little bhav come living with the devotees association, and this. then we want rasa, Krishna, Krishna. And Prabhupada say, assign, assign with Krishna. Agree that Krishna is there, but we are not want to assign it. Then still Krishna is not leaving us. This is the problem. Ten ten. A sign, then alternative goal will come to you. But we are not ready to agree with that. So Krishna is not leaving us. Prabhupada ten ten, you will see a sign Krishna. Agree with this and go further. For alternative goal, can you read Suniti? You have Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> See that. Very clearly he writes. But we are not ready to agree this. Tesham satata yuktanam pachudam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tam yenamam upayantite. Read my Prabhupada. I have, only, I have only the German version. Yes, Suniti is searching for the English version. She will bring. Those who are fully devoted unto me and uh, serve me with love, I give the understanding how they will reach me. Understanding giving. Not he is giving himself. Giving understanding. <laughs> Understand how you can reach me. Tadami Buddhi Yoga. Yeah, some intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Go on. <clears throat> so, I think I wrote it down. Those, to those who are constantly devoted, I good information. So, without bath. Without the feeling, one cannot taste rasa, and without rasa, there cannot be there cannot be development of bath, and without bath and rasa, there can be no ananda. 
This is a well-known truth. I say you, where the bhav, say Radha. Where is the rasa, say Krishna. And then read. Okay. Yes. Without Radha, one cannot taste Krishna. Yes. And without Krishna, there cannot be development of Radha. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we could actually say there cannot be development of relation to Radha. Yeah. And without Radha and without Krishna, there cannot be any Ananda. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Understand this? <laughs> so no manjari bhav. No manjari bhav will come when this goal is there. Manjari bhav, how come but when Radha is not there? <laughs> and I am not one to serve like her dasi. Then it's too far for me. <coughs> Read the Bhagavad Gita. Yes, good. If I got it, uh, one should know that the goal is Krishna, and when the goal is assigned, means assigned. contract has been signed. What is then what do you do? Art to go to Sundara. When the yeah. contract is signed, then what do you do? The goal is assigned. You really? don't look for another house. No others. Yeah, only one way. No, no left, right side, only one direction. If I want to go left and right, then <clears throat> well, useless. This is the way of the dogs. <laughs> they run left side, right side. But we go straight. <laughs> yeah. Then sign them. What happened? Then the path is slowly. Slowly, then slow it becomes, not fast. Then it becomes slow again, yes. Yeah. Because but realization time starts. Path becomes slow because realization come, time comes. Go on. Then the path is slowly but progressively reversed, traveled, and the ultimate goal is achieved. Wow. So, Mani Krishna is not ultimate goal, or what? Ultimate goal. What? Krishna is not that. The whole part is writing. Understand this or not? Krishna is not the ultimate goal to us. No. It's not possible. Then still, why you are not leaving him? Miss <laughs> Asakun is not what to assign him, right? <laughs> right, Chakdu? How you will see that? At least we will find Krishna. Sure. Chakshu, you can explain. I mean, as Raghunath Das Goswami is praying to Krishna that he can attain the service to Radharani's lotus feet. That is, you say, I will, you read, when feeling is not there, rasa, not I go for rasa. Feeling, if the feeling grow, you need rasa. Right? The moment feeling will come, you want to go for rasa, juicy. Rasa is there, but we cannot taste rasa, it's written. <laughs> wow, wow, Kishore. Because feeling is missing. And so we have to be connected with the source of feeling. Yeah. And in that way, then we can... Wow. <coughs> we can. This is Thai Bao. That is a Thai Bao. Then Manjari our Saki Bao will come. Because yesterday, so yesterday, 
Sharing, I want to share a little bit. Is okay? Yes, one hundred percent. This is the sharing. So I was, I was asking to Mahani Swami. Could you explain how, how, how you are doing sadhana if it is possible? Because we want to learn from you. <laughs> So, and uh, he's saying, he's doing, after getting up, he's doing <coughs> Vigas Marang and Japa. <laughs> and then he's saying, just chanting Japa is okay, but with feeding and Japa is necessary. Is yeah, oh. <coughs> so I little bit I I explain a little more. <coughs> so he doing Dira Smarana. But he he has a Stai Baba. As his Stai Baba, as Manjari, and then Diras Marai. Jaiho, Varasundara. And then, Jaiho. And then he came. I agree also. He's reading book like a Birabak's man. And then he meditate, he try to feel it. And he's saying like this. For example, so we are we we kind of some smarana. Lira smarana. For example, <coughs> we are Massaging Radha Rani's lotus feet. Yeah. But at that time, or maybe we are decorating Krishna's body, Shringara, etc. Or maybe combing the hair. At that time, Manjari does not say without. Manjari must talk with Radha. <laughs> you know, like a Manjari's friend. If we friend, between friend, for example, so somebody massaging good day. Sometime at that time, you know, maybe sometimes somebody is quiet, but usually, you know, he talk something as a friend. Right? <laughs> the, a few days ago, we had marriage ceremony. At that time, decorating the, the uh, sadhvi. At that time, friendly, someone who decorate, they're speaking, you know? Like, like you know, like, like a friendly talk. So he's saying, Manjari has to know the heart of Radharani. And the man and the have to go like a remind the pastime in a Mohan. Yeah. So in this kind of meditation he's doing is more like <clears throat> more clear. He try to talk, try to know rather feeling in, in the Sumarana. Yeah. So this is here mentioned Rasa or Baba and Baba Rasa together Ananda. This is Lila. Nada <coughs> Krishna together with Manjari become Lila. <laughs> So there, everything there in Dira Sumanana. So the, really, in, very in, interesting to hear from someone who, someone who practicing very deeply. 
So therefore, we did this bus, we understand all oh, these feelings very important. And to feel, we have to know, we have to hear this, we have to read what's here in this past time. And if we hear, if we read, and they digest and meditate, try to feel that Swami is feeling. Also try to try to meditate what kind of conversation should be there. So this is yesterday's we are talking about his sadhana. As many things he, he was talking about, but uh, you know, I just share this one interesting point. Jai. Jai. Have you been recording it? Yes. I think someone did record it and, uh, and uh, so we try to try to yeah, we record it. We try to up <coughs> maybe somebody yeah. can do. Thank maybe. you. So we are yeah, some we are going tomorrow. We are going back to Japan. Maybe in Japan, somebody can do this. Is very interesting conversation with Mahani Swami. He's, he's very deep, so we we could learn from him also. We can learn from everybody, but especially someone who is experienced, someone who knows very well. And Sad Maharaj also should meet <coughs> Baba. Yes. This is very and uh, in the Western body, in my eyes, Mahanidhi's army is a really center force. When he was sannyasi, I see that. Now he become Baba, so he is more deep. So, yeah. This is a well known truth. <clears throat> we try to realize the purport of these words, then we can understand that even a slightest drop from the stream of topmost transcendental bliss that constantly floats from the fountainhead of all universal causes, Mahabhavrada, embraced by Maharasa Krishna, is keeping the whole world alive. Can you explain this, Gurdiv? This is very deep, I feel. Do it again. If we try to realize the purports of these words, then we can understand that even a slightest drop from the stream of topmost transcendental bliss that constantly floats from the fountainhead of all universal causes, Mahabhavrada embraced by Maharasa Krishna is keeping the whole world alive. Honestly, I'm just still stuck in what Jananda Maharaj was telling about how to not only imagine the Leela, but also act in it. But um, this line now, what um, 
Chakshu was saying, I think this is the, this is the Maha Mantra, no? Like you always explain when uh, Radha and Mohan and explain. Sorry? Reading and explaining that. that can understanding by one's words. Yeah. Can, can you read again? If we try to realize the purport of these words, then we can understand that even a slightest drop from the stream of topmost transcendental bliss that constantly floats from the fountainhead of all universal causes. Mahabhavrada embraced by Maharasa Krishna is keeping the whole world alive. I'm not, I'm not sure about the first part. It's a bit too philosophical for me. <laughs> I look at the second part. If we try to realize the purport of these words, we can understand. So it means when Radha and Mohan are embracing themselves, each other, then a constantly bliss is flowing, right? And they are the cause of all causes of our existence, actually. And their love is keeping the whole world alive. So the moment we realize that their embrace <clears throat> when bhav and rasa embrace each other then we hear ananda we can experience ananda so it means actually everything is ananda in our lives if we realize that this is the fountain this is the source of our whole existence. So it's saying even a slightest drop is enough to realize it. So we can imagine how how powerful their embrace is. And if we that can catch that drop, then we will also constantly float in that ananda and it will keep also, I feel, our world alive. So we can only beg for this tiny, tiny slight drop that can enter us and finally release our understanding of, of this divine love. Can it also be understood like this, that every soul wants the natural position of every soul is to be in Ananda, to be happy. So <laughs> this is keeping the whole world alive could also mean that everybody's yearning for happiness and this is the only way that we can feel real ananda and real happiness if pava and rasa are in meeting wow. yeah. nice Kishori. and also you were explaining the Maha Mantra, how Gauranga Mahaprabhu gave this Maha Mantra and how this is Manjari Bhav. You said that Hare Krishna means that Radharani is embracing Krishna, Mohan. 
Hare Krishna, she's embracing him more strong. And Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, he's also embracing her. And then Hare Ram means Raman, that they are now in meeting, embracing each other. And why he's, it should be, or it's not enough that Radha and Mohan are together and hugging and embracing each other. They are already in Raman, so they are inviting a third person, a manjari, Ram, Ram, Hare Hare, to feel Ananda. <laughs> Can you say something, please? <laughs> Nothing you have to say. All Gopinath, you all say. But you were also explaining in this verse, Gurudev, that this taking that Radharani is taking the, the Tulsi Manchari to Govardhan Hill to teach the intimate song because when Krishna faints, then she can sing and bring him back to senses. Um, now I want to ask two things, but one is that um, you also explained that this is also Goranga Mahaprabhu because he brought the Maha Mantra to sing it in different tunes and he also faints all the time out of ecstasy. So can you explain this again? So when he is fainting, there is a Govinda. He was taking care of Mahaprabhu and Sarup Damodar and Ramananda Rai, they are taking care Sarup Damodar, Ramananda Rai was Sakhi friends, Darita Vishal, and Govinda was the manager. They are the servant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when you go in past time, you can speak it. Chaitanya Chaitamrit only understands why he is like this. There are. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Yeah. So is this happiness we experience in this world, is this the drop, is this this drop coming from, this Ananda drop? <coughs> yes, everything comes from Nana. So after hearing this one, you know, everybody knows Brahma Sanhita. I know many people know Brahma Sanhita, Ishwara Paramakrishna. Satchidananda Bigraha, Anandira Bigobi, Sarva Karanakari. Actually, according to this but it is not fully correct. Every creation, material creation, spiritual creation, is Mahababa and Maharasas. Jaiho! Jaiho Jananda! You got it! You got it! And also, actually, Mahamantra Kishori Vidhi describes very nicely. And also, Jai Kishori. Jai Kishori. And actually, <laughs> actually, Kama Gayatri also sing me. What is that meaning? Because Kama, 
Karma Gaitri means karma. Gaitri. Gaitri means、uh, someone who chant this mantra, Gaitri, can get liberation. But we think, what kind of liberation we can have? Actually, this karma liberation, we can get this Mahababa and Maharasa's seva. This is karma g a i t r i By chanting karma g a i t r i we can get. So, and yesterday, <laughs> Mahani d i s w a m i was describing in, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, today. Little deep. By chanting Gopara Mantra, we can get Siddhi. So, what, so what kind of Siddhi do you want? Do you want to many followers? What big money? Big house? A lot of money? Mahani s w a m i Guru Dev asking, Oh, what do you want? You want to see this? And Mahani s w a m i said, No, 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 no. I want to enter the sub of Radha Radha r a n i I want to be Radha r a n i And then Guru Dev said, Oh, then let us chant the Karma g a i t r i So he's saying to chanting Karma g a i t r i is for us. To, to, to want to become Manjari, it, it's very much useful. Why is that? Because in the early sense, Maha Mantra and Karma g a i t r i are very similar. Maha Mantra and Karma a a m t r k m g a t r i Yes, same. Because every Jiva has desire, Karma. Even Krishna has Karma. Every karma could fulfill this mantra and meeting Mahababa and Maharasa.、Yeah. Oh. Wow! <laughs> That's the point. So, so, therefore, we need this Mahababa, we, we need Baba. We also we need Lhasa.、Um, we need a Thai power also. Yes, Thai power. Can I add it? <laughs> Can I add something? Yes, sure. sure. I'd like to add something to Ananda. This is. This is a natural position of the soul, is Sachit Ananda. That means there is nothing to do. This is, we are Ananda in our natural position, but this is neutral. This is, we don't have to do anything. But we like more. We like share feelings. To get the real Ananda, we have to go to a higher point. That is Prem. And how to get the Prem? This is when we are in Stai Bhav, Bhav, then we can reach Mahabhav. And our goal is to bring Mahabhav together with Rasa Shekara. What is his name? Rasa Shekara. Rasika Shekara. And there, when they are together, then we, our goal is perfect. Then we get.、Oh, okay. then We are active. We are not. Ananda is, is more or less passive. But if we are active and we bring them together in the Kunja, Mahabhav and Rasa Shekara, then we can get it. We get the Prem. And in the full blooming, then is Ananda is, is fully there. Then we are on our goal. This is our goal to bring them together and get the feeling from both. This is real Ananda. Sorry for me. Very good. Jatsu, I am telling you, 
<laughs> we become mad now. Be careful with Gaura Sundara. <laughs> we have less association with him. I'm telling you, he make a big problem for Sunni. <laughs> he stopped talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I am telling Jan, one more mad person is going. He said, Jananda. German is the problem. Problem. <laughs> you will make some, uh, actually, you go, is it like a Mahaprabhu touch? You, uh, if you will go in that touch, all you will be in the same mellow. <laughs> you sit and sure to get together at this time. Is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, mercy of Radha Mohan is happening that Gaurasundar organized to bring to Jananda Maharaj to Japan. To Germany. Switzerland and Austria. to him. No, no, very close, but he cannot do. Is it's all yes, Mangora Sundar is also asked to uh, alone to Suniti privately. She is in problem. <laughs> She's not but if you make the problems, you are the troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> you bring, uh, bring much trouble in my life. <laughs> but I love this trouble. <laughs> and we are all like the people in the village, in the Fisher village, <laughs> who were touching Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh. <clears throat> this is, you can see, is happening really. <laughs> Even now, is <laughs> that Yeah. Yeah. So the main item that is to be ascertained from the Vedic scriptures was described in Srimad Bhagavatam, which is the essence of the Vedanta. Wow. According to the Bhagavatam, the limit of attainment is the Mahabhav of the gopis in the Rasa Lila. No. A human being is unable to advance or to know anything beyond this. Because this is in Veda, this is the man, Srimad Bhagavat, and they say that what is the heart? Maharas is the heart of Srimad Bhagavat. Essence. Huh? Essence. Essence. Yes, now go on. So, yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, not a little. <coughs> so, Ramandaya, a Chaitanya Babu, the conversation there. Ramananda. Ramananda uh, Samba. Mm -hmm. Is a Chaitanya Charitamita Materira, eighth chapter. So, Mahaprabhu as Radharani to ask a question to Rai Ramandai, who is it is a Vishaka. And to some point, final point, Rai Ramandai said, Oh, Mahaprabhu, I cannot describe anymore. <clears throat> this is beyond my, my ability. 
So this is a very interesting point. Because Ramananda is Saki. <clears throat> so Saki could not describe beyond beyond this, beyond Rasarira. Saki cannot describe what is Unnato Jwarakasa. Saki cannot describe Manjari Baba. That could not describe this one. It described this by Bila Baksman. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question to, to, to this. Why Florida Mananda fainted? Why fainted? Fainted. <coughs> so, so, Okay. So Ramandaya. Was amazing to see Mahaprabhu because his appearance is so a golden color. His mood also amazing because of it. Mahaprabhu has Radha, Radha Baba. But at that time, Ma, uh, Radha Manala could not understand. So Ramanaya prayed to Mahaprabhu. Please disclose secret who you are. Why you come here? <coughs> Then Mahaprabhu showed his mercy upon Raina Mandai. And she showed his Swarupa, his combination of Mahababa and Maharasa. So, therefore, he was completely. Shook. <laughs> but if it, it's not described in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Red Chaitanya Charitamrita is a book in Pakya. No. Now I say, <laughs> sorry. Yes. So. Why king become mad to see sannyasi? <laughs> and why sannyasi become mad to see the king? Why? When Mahaprabhu sees Ramananda Rai, he want to meet him. And when Ramananda Rai see Mahaprabhu, he want to come. And when they come close, they start rolling and crying. Why? <coughs> Why sannyasi can cry for the one king? And why king is crying for sannyasi? <laughs> Because they know each other. I am waiting for my Swami Radhika is coming in this covered face of sannyasi. And this sannyasi is looking, Are my Vishakha, I got it. I am missing my feelings. Nobody is sharing me. How I'm missing this. She will say me some past time that I can go more deep in my feelings. So they start rolling and try to not want to leave each other and cry. His meeting of Radha and Vishakha is this. <laughs> Thank you.
महाप्रभु से I don't want to leave you. I want to listen from you. Why sannyas want to listen from Raj King? Why? No, he is no sannyasi, no king. Here is the sakhi, and the ratika is there. The always love increases when some other is talking about that. So the Mahaprabhu wants to increase his love. For Kaitanya uh, Radha is going to improve this love inside. So he listen and listen. Then he start testing really what is fact. Then he step by step talk about body conscious thing. It is a bhaitata. What you are talking outside? Subject. Say the reality. And when he say, "Naham Ramani." And now you Raman and no Ramni then close the mouth. <laughs> he said, "Okay, now no. what is meaning? They know each other. They are. They can see each other. They are next They are always together." And then Mahaprabhu said, "Come to Navadeep. Up to when I will leave." We will live together. We will cry together, live together. This is right hour. And then Guru Dev. Later on, Mahaprabhu was <coughs> dancing in the Radha's mood. He was express. He he say one one point. Actually, this point come from uh, anyway. This and then nobody understands the meaning. <laughs> but only one person could understand. Yeah. This is Rupa Gosa. <laughs> Who is Rupa Manja? Yeah. So he wrote the meaning on the leaf. And then put on the on the hut is the top and just put yeah, roof. And then Mahaprabhu, after bathing, he found out this this Rupa Goswami's poem. And then he could un he could understand. Oh, Rupa knows my heart. How you know my heart? Because Manjari. Yes. Manjari only knows the heart. <laughs> and then he struck. And Rupa, why you know my heart? <laughs> <laughs> and then Mahaprabhu went to Swarupada Mudara. You know, this Rupa knows my heart. Why is that? Please explain to me. Yeah. Then, then Swarupada said, if he knows, he must be you given to the Masya point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I see. <laughs> and what you see with Raya Ramananda, many Karam Kandi Brahman also come. <laughs> <laughs> they were surprised to see. One sannyasi is crying for king, and one king is crying for sannyasi. He said, are they crazy or what happened to them? What happened to them? Because they are so out. In Karam Kanda, they are priests, you know, but they are not lovers. So there are two class. 
always will go together. One is a priest class, one is a lover class. Now, we have to decide which class I want to be. Hmm. This is the always going on and on. Rade. Nice. Mm -hmm. If anyone can reveal anything beyond this, then he cannot be anyone else the fan. but the supreme absolute truth, God Himself. Yeah. That should be known for sure. Yeah. That confidential manjari bath, which is not even found by searching through the Rasa Lila chapters of Srimad Bhagavatam, is the merciful gift of Shri Shri Chaitanya, Chaitanya Dev, who is the combined form of Rasa Raj, Shri Krishna, the king of relishes and Mahabhav, Sri Radhika, the Supreme Love. Yeah. And, its <clears throat> and its manifestation and preaching has come through the Acharyas who took shelter of his lotus feet. This book is Triyan, who completed his PhD is a research book. Is a researching book. After that, I think there is no book to develop your sky up. One is Radhara Sudhanidi and second is Vilapu You can start with Radhara Sudhanidi and you can research in Vilapu And also, good the good thing from beginning, we we can be the it's still beginning, is there? Yes, Bhakti <laughs> Chandrika. But if still beginning is there, then what I do for 30 years? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but Prem Bhakti Chandrika also very good if there is no prema, mm -hmm. no feelings are there. Mm -hmm. So, Vilapa is the last limit of all chastas. Research. Research. You have to research after that. There's nothing meaningful. You understand that nothing to read and think to you. Only to be. Today, one person come now. You say, I become Mona. This is the highest, highest, beautiful, this is the highest. <laughs> Mauna is the highest. You know when you become Mauna, when you have a love intense in your heart, you don't share your heart and this is the heart of Mauna. Why you want to share this? You talk other subjects. Not you give classes, <laughs> but you not share what you like. Rather, rather. 